Hi guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I want to uh, briefly go over what a batch file is and how you can use it. Some of my previous videos and probably plenty of my upcoming ones will um, deal with batch files. So what is a batch file? A batch file is a file that you can execute which will run a script uh, and basically tell Windows what to do. And so the first thing I want to go over is how to create a bat file and I have a new folder here I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna right click and go to new text document and so now we have new text document and then the file type which is .txt in order to get that to show on Windows 8 you're gonna to go to view and then check off uh, file name extensions and then also in Windows 7 or Vista, um, if you have uh, this any you know folder open, basically, uh, you can go to Organize, and then I think it's like Layout or something like that. Um, basically, there's there is one option in there that'll allow you to add the Menu tab, which is this right here. Um, and then once you have the Menu tab, you can go to Tools, uh, and then Folder Options, and then basically once you have folder options open you'll see this uh, you want to go to view or the view tab I should say and then just um, check or uncheck hide extensions for known file types uh, and basically that'll put you right where I am here if you don't have uh, that enabled what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to change the uh, the file type of, of this this text document so even if I type dot bat it's still gonna be a text document so it's it's important that you guys do that. And so now if I have dot bat here, um, I can just click enter and yes, and now we have a bat file. One simple thing that I've set up here is basically something that says echo hello world. And so echo is the command to tell the computer to say something and then hello world uh, is what we're gonna output. And that's all that this is gonna do. And so when I run this batch file, it says, hello world. And that's Windows saying that. So now for Minecraft, uh, most of the time you're using a batch file for a server. And so what I have here is my start server batch file. And we're telling it we're going to run a Java server. And this optional bit says that it's going to be 64-bit. And then this bit says how many megabytes to use minimum for the server. This bit says how many megabytes to use maximum, and you can also use gigabytes. Uh, we're telling it to look for a jar file, which is this extension right here. And then uh, what the name of the jar file that we're gonna be running is. So in this case, I always rename my server to craftbucket.jar, or if you're using Minecraft, you can just do minecraft.jar, uh, just so that after each version comes out, I don't have to change what's in this uh, bat file. I'm sorry, batch file. Um, so it just makes it easier for me, but it's totally up to you how you want to do it. Uh, I've noticed that some people get the uh, error message that says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. The reason for this in most cases is because your computer doesn't know what this portion is, and so one way you can fix that is by um, uh, let me copy this real quick, is by putting in this portion here. In parentheses, we're telling uh, basically our computer where java.exe is so that it knows where to find it. And so this location is in my computer, the C drive, program files, java, jre7, bin, and then we're looking for java.exe. And so there it is. It might not always be on the same in the same location for all of you guys. And as we move on to new versions, you'll have JRE 8, you'll have JRE 9, so on and so forth. But this is basically what you're trying to do in this case. If you're on a 32-bit machine, don't worry. You can also just go to uh, Program Files x86 and then look for Java. And basically do the exact same thing, java.exe. So you have options. You can do 32-bit or 64-bit. And uh, just make sure that you copy this directory 
into this parentheses, and that tells Windows where to go for Java. And one more thing you can do with a batch file is also start up your client. So basically, this is a lot simpler. All you have to do is put in this right here. We're using Java, 64-bit, and since Minecraft is in Java, it still needs the jar part. But then we're going to look for Minecraft.exe, which is this right here. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of batch files. I'm going to go over some more advanced stuff in some future videos, but um, if you guys have any questions, please just post them in the comments, and take care.